Ladies and gentlemen, the sound of just intonation. So just intonation is when you take the frets and you move the frets to be into alignment with the harmonics. So these are what the harmonics look like and those are the harmonic subdivisions of the string. So. <clears throat> a lot of you builders out there want to know exactly what the distances are here. So, in this video, at the end of this video, um, I'm going to put out a meter stick and I'm going to call out the fret spacings from the zero fret to the frets in centimeters. All right? So that ought to be boring. Yeah, if you like math, it's exciting. But other than that, you might get bored. So I'll play another little ditty at the end so that you have something to look forward to at the end of this video. Yay! So I laid out my meter stick, and these are going to be in centimeters. So the first fret is going to be 3.8 centimeters. The second fret is going to be 6.9 centimeters. The third fret is 10.4 centimeters. The fourth fret is 12.6 centimeters. The fifth fret is 15.8 centimeters. The sixth fret is 18.2 centimeters. The seventh fret, 21 centimeters. Eighth fret, 23.7 centimeters. The ninth fret is 25.3 centimeters. The 10th fret is 27.6 centimeters. The 11th fret is 29.5 centimeters. And the 12th fret is 31.6 centimeters. Now we're jumping into the next octave. The 13th fret is 33.6 centimeters. The 14th fret is 35.2 centimeters. The 15th fret is 36.9 centimeters. The 16th fret is a perfect 38 centimeters. The 17th fret is 39.5 centimeters. The 18th fret is 40.9 centimeters. And the 19th fret is 42, uh, 42 point two centimeters. 42.2 centimeters. Now the scale length on this thing here is 63.4 centimeters for the high string, 63.6 centimeters for the middle string, and 63.8 centimeters for the low string. Okay, so the middle string, the only frets that are different is gonna be the second fret that's going to be at 6.2 millimeters. The sixth fret, 
which is going to be at 18.75 millimeters or centimeters, and then the 14th fret, which is going to be 34.8 centimeters. And then, of course, the low string is the same as the, the high string. See, that wasn't so bad, was it? Okay, so notice how these frets here are at the second fret are, are off. That's almost like a centimeter. Listen, listen to the difference here on the high string. And then... Such a huge difference, oh my gosh. So check this out. I've done experiments on people at like my outdoor markets where I would pick up a just intonation instrument and I would start playing. I'm just, you know, minding my own business, just playing. And then I would look up and I would see, ah, there's crowds gathering people out with their cell phones or they're, they're, uh, they're all intrigued. They're like, man, that box sounds awesome. That's a cigar box. All that sound coming from a cigar box. And, you know, I would say, ah, I would explain to them what, what, what the deal is. And, then I would put the just intonation instrument back and I'd grab another guitar of equal tempered and I'd play the same exact thing. And I would notice that people were polite, you know, but they wouldn't stop and like take notice like like when I did with the just intonation. So I was kind of curious. And so I would pick up the just intonation again and I'd play the same exact thing. And so sure enough, man, people would be like stopped in their tracks and they would be like intrigued with the sound and stuff like that. And I was like, oh, like interesting. So I would take off the just intonation, put back on the equal temper, play the exact same thing, note for note, not changing anything. And people would go back to walking back and forth, minding their own business, and I'd be all like, hey man, check this out. So whenever I play the just intonation, sounds awesome so I'm telling you there's something to playing these chords with all these pure intervals that really pulls people in there's a gravity there's like a uh, some what do you call it sublimable thing that, that happens man when people are bombarded with these pure chords so there is power with just intonation however there are some drawbacks because like these frets are all like off if I was to do like a bar chord right here listen how horrible it sounds listen yeah, that sounds nasty. Up here where this fret is, is the same thing. Yeah, so there's some notes are going to sound like... <sighs> so you just got to know where not to step. So you don't step in it. You know what I'm saying? As long as you know where not to step, then you're going to be good. That's it. I will see you in the next video. So you're probably wondering about these partials. So what I do typically is I just do a double slot and then I always save these little pieces. I got a little jar where I put all the ends, my fret ends, because you never know when they're going to come in handy for something like this. And so what I'll do is I'll do the double slot and then I'll file the edge of the fret down so they're all smooth and then just tap them in place here and then with the extra um, space what I'll do is I'll just get the, um, the wood filler Ta -da! and then fill it in and then dark stain the, the entire neck so that you almost can't see it I mean if you look really close you can see this the slots in there you can see it really good here so that's how you do that.